Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for January 24th of 2024 is titled Earth and Moon from Beyond. So what do we see here? Well, here we see the Earth and the Moon and we see the Earth in the background with its blue oceans and white clouds covering parts of the surface. And closer we see the Moon. Now, how do we get an image of both of these together? Of course, we get pictures of the moon taken from Earth, and we've seen many of those in the past. We've also seen pictures of Earth taken from the moon as from the Apollo missions. However, to see them both, we actually have to be out into space away from both of these objects. And in order to get an image like this, what we have to remember is that the Earth is four times larger than the moon. So its diameter is four times as large. However, when we look at this image, the Earth actually looks smaller. Now, one thing that we can judge sizes is by how big things actually are. The other is by how far away they are from us. So in this case, we were past the moon on the other side, looking back toward Earth. And in that case, we have it where the moon actually looks a little bit bigger than Earth. Now, in reality, the moon is still much smaller than Earth. It's just that in this case, we are far closer to the moon and farther from Earth. And that will make the moon look larger than it otherwise would and the Earth look a little bit smaller. Now, how can we get an image like this? Well, we actually have to travel out around beyond the moon. And this was taken in 2022. And that was part of the Artemis One mission and part of a plan to bring people back to the moon eventually. So what it did was travel out beyond the moon and look back towards Earth as it made its orbit around the moon. So it went well out beyond the moon. Now we actually saw another mission that is upcoming and that would be the Artemis 2 mission. So the first stage had no people there. This just sent the craft around the moon to test it out. The next mission will do a similar orbit and it will take several people to the moon. So we'll travel this same orbit around the moon and looking back and then come back to Earth. Artemis 2 will not land on the moon but is scheduled to take place as early as the fall of 2025. Now it will be about a year after that if all goes as scheduled and everything works as planned in 2026 that we will actually plan on returning humans to the surface of the moon for the first time since 1972 when the Apollo 17 mission occurred. And that will be the Artemis 3 mission that is scheduled again currently for late 2026 may be delayed depending on how things work with the next Next mission. But that would be a chance to actually land people on the moon for the first time in over 50 years since the Apollo missions of the late 1960s and early 1970s. So a chance to really study the moon again up close. Now we may think we know everything about the moon because we've been there. We've studied the moon. Well, really, we've only studied six small areas on the moon. And those are the areas where the Apollo craft landed. Those are the only parts of the moon that have been directly studied by humans. So being able to explore more of the moon will give us a better understanding of our closest neighbor in space. So that was our picture of the day for January 24th of 2024. It was titled Earth and Moon from Beyond. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.